I received a an email announcing a talk that Andrew Cohen gave. Andrew Cohen has been a controversial figure. I know of him because I spoke with someone who led his program in Europe at a conference in England. And I met some of his followers, actually at that time, former followers who had become quite disenchanted with their experience. Andrew is a meditation teacher and a writer. He had a, quite an active program, and it all blew up around him as those who were leading with him felt he was excessive in some ways. Andrew acknowledged that he had been excessive and then withdrew from the world for a time, then wrote a book about his experience of it all. I haven't read the book. I haven't been to any of his classes, so I wasn't there firsthand to see what was going on, but all that was. And meanwhile, he's a brilliant man. He published a journal called What is Enlightenment and wrote an article that appeared regularly in it with Ken Wilbur. In any event, I heard the announcement of a talk he was giving, and I thought it was so fascinating, and I didn't have a chance to listen to it live, but since have listened to it. And I wrote to Andrew and to thank him for the intelligence of what he'd presented, and particularly the question that he had posed to the world, really. So I'd like to read you three paragraphs from the introduction or the promotional material uh, to the talk, and it goes like this. In the early 20th, 21st century, there is one spiritual question that is perhaps the most urgent and important of all, a question to which, arguably more than any other, we need to find a radical and enlightened answer. We live in a highly sophisticated but largely secular culture that doesn't recognize the primacy of spirit and regards any kind of religious expression with deep suspicion. When spirit does show up, it is usually in its archaic, mythic, or fundamentalist forms, or in the endless marketplace of the New Age, where spirituality is merely commodified. How does one live an authentic, spiritual, or devotional life in such a setting? What could it, or what would it, or could it even look like in this heavily secular, post-postmodern context? In Western culture, we have as yet tragically failed to answer this question. Pretty good, right? Like really posing the question that we face as humankind. Okay? Good to ask the right questions, right? That's really important on a search for truth, is to ask the right questions. And I think the question Andrew is asking is, is really on point. We are in the middle of a spiritual crisis. Now, what's the answer? Andrew's words reminded me of a brochure that we first published here at Sunrise Ranch in 1976. It's written by Martin Cecil, entitled Spiritual Orientation. In this little trifold, Martin is speaking of Sunrise Ranch and pointing to the answer to Andrew's question. Should it be accepted that the word spirit refers to the quality and nature of God, and it is further sensed that the quality and nature are inherent in human beings? 
that when mental orientations orientation ceases to dominate human behavior, that true quality and nature may begin to find expression in living. Martin is talking about orienting to what is invisible and welcoming it into oneself so that it becomes visible in the world in which we live. At the same time, when we do that, we acknowledge that it is visible all around us, that what we see is not just physical. Nature is not just physical. Other people are not just physical and not just mental or even emotional. That they're embodying a deeper reality that is the inner truth of, of all things. <clears throat> 